Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening to this video. I don't have anything to show for this video, but I wanted to uh, present a new idea for something that I'm going to do every Monday. I'm going to call it Moody Monday, and I'll explain a little bit later in the video why it's called Moody Monday. But what we're what I'm going to be doing is uh, this time of year, I always like to start making hats and scarves because around Christmas time, my school that I work for, they do a coat, hat, mitten, scarf drive for um, kids in the district who are needy and people in the community who, who are needy and, and need those types of things. So I always like to make something special for those um, so that somebody can have something special. Um, and last year, the classroom that I work in, uh, the, the kids learned how to crochet and they were doing hats. And so we did a bunch of stuff before Christmas and donated it. And then we did a whole bunch of stuff after that and we went uh, after Christmas time to our local homeless shelter and donated those uh, to the shelter. And we, the, we, we went there as a field trip and we got to give. And it was just a really neat experience. So I wanted to start stocking up on those again so that I have some to give out. Now the reason why I'm calling it Moody Monday is because a while back, I saw <clears throat> an idea that somebody had, and I don't remember who. I'm so sorry if it was your idea. You can tell me if it was your idea in the comments. This wasn't my idea, but it was something I wanted to try. Somebody was just grabbing yarn for the mood that they had that day. So it could just be like, oh, I really like the blue today. I'm going to go pick it up. Or you know, um, I'm feeling really happy, I wanna use red. So I thought that um, that would be kind of fun to try that. So I thought with the hats and the scarves that I'm making, I would do the mood hats and mood scarves. And you can, if you wanted to join in, that would be great. You, you could, you know, send pictures if you're doing it along with me and I can include them in the video or if you'd like to do it on your channel too, that would be great. Um, you know, you can find uh, places for these to be donated. There's also organizations that do, I believe, do they call them, you know, I, I think yarn bombing is when you like do crocheting things that are around, but um, I always call them yarn bombing because I'm not sure what they're actually called but it's when you make the hats and scarves and then you leave them with the little notes around your town <clears throat> for people to take. It says, I, I, I used to remember what it said, but it basically says something like, I'm not lost, I'm here for you and you can just take me and keep me basically. You know, so, um, you know, people who are just cold can pick them up and use them. If there are homeless people who are cold, they can pick them up and have them. Uh, so there's a lot of places that if you wanted to do it yourself, you could find a place to donate uh, in your area for that. And if you're a channel and you'd like to do it with me, that would be great. You know, there's no pressure for anybody to do this, but this time of year, I do this kind of thing anyway. And I thought it might be kind of fun to draw in more people or just to show you the things I've made. Because I think that having them be moody uh, hats and moody scarves it would be interesting, you know, seeing how the different colors blend together. There's no specific pattern I'm going to follow. I may find a pattern that I really like, but I think I'm just going to do pretty much anything that's going to work up quickly because I want to try and get an inventory go going. So, you know, even if you only know one stitch, you can make the hats, you can make the scarves with just the one stitch. It's not a big deal. And I think a lot of the stuff that I'm going to make will just be that. They're not going to be super fancy. They're going to uh, be ready to go. You know, something that's nice that's ready to go. So 
uh, you know, if you would like to join in, feel free. My email is in the description below if you want to email me pictures, if you want to do it with me. I'm going to probably start that next Monday. There's no pressure to get any certain amount of thing done. You don't, like I said, you don't even have to do it. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun to have something to show and try something I've wanted to try for a while. So Moody Monday starts for me next week. I hope you guys have a good night and uh, I'll see you in the next video.